Well, it's a, a 48215 as you can see. Um, it runs a, a, a JZ head, um, it uh, dry sump, steel crank, uh, mostly NASCAR internals in engine, so all very lightweight stuff. It's our own front suspension, rear suspension, it's got gas shocks, coilovers, runs a BMW rack with an uh, electric Mercedes-Benz uh, power steering unit on it. It's got a Hollinger in it with helical core gears in it. Um, the, the clip is still original. You can actually take the front clip off the car. Uh, all glass everywhere. Weighs about 1,060 kilos. Um, puts out about 370 horsepower, so I'm told. Uh, well, that's what the dyno sheet says. Uh, and uh, all Harrop brakes. Um, it was built on a CAD drawing to start with, so we were pretty sure what we had was right. And um, it hasn't been changed that much from the CAD drawing specifications. And the only thing, we probably run a little bit, little bit lighter springs than we thought we would. Adjustable roll centre, um, it's got adjustable sway bars from inside the car. Uh, yeah, it's as, it's as wild a ride as you can get. Uh, at the moment we're running 48 Webers on it. Seems okay. Um, and uh, we did a lot of work with that head. We actually got a, a casting head then developed ourselves and it's uh, uh, all the rocker gears is, is double bolted down. So, you know, the original ones only have one bolt holding the rocker gear down, so we, we doubled up on that. Um, it doesn't run a flywheel at all. It just runs a ring gear off the clutch uh, without giving away too many secrets, but um, uh, it does the job. It's very good. Uh, top three outright at, um, in a lot of the stages of the Targa this year, which puts it in about top ten outright of all cars in Targa, so it's not bad for an old 48 old.